Investigators are searching the water for clues tonight after a plane disappeared with three people on board. The pilot and two passengers took off from uh, South St. Paul Airport yesterday afternoon. Today, search crews found some debris from the plane about six miles south on Gray Cloud Island. WCCO's John Lawrenson shows us why where the plane went down is making it difficult to figure out what happened. It's a one way in, one way out, so there's not much traffic down here and yeah, usually pretty quiet down here for sure. A remote part of Cottage Grove became busier Monday as neighbors like Travis Colson showed up to watch the search and speculate about what went wrong. They did drop out a marker, so I'm assuming they must have found something. By Monday morning, debris from the plane had been recovered on the Gray Cloud Island shoreline. Throughout the afternoon and into the evening, boats and markers hovered over a specific part of the quarry known as Nelson's Pit. Search conditions have been a challenge. The quarry walls are sand based and the quarry itself is up to 200 feet deep in some spots. We know that there's a debris field at the bottom. We've used our science side scan sonar and our robot. Investigators are calling this a recovery, not a rescue. The goal is to find the pilot and two passengers believed to be aboard. Around 7.30 Monday evening, divers appeared to pull something from the water. A very sad tragedy and, and you know, you're obviously concerned for the family. You just kind of want to know what, what exactly happened. In Cottage Grove, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The recovery mission will continue tomorrow.